Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would share with you guys my quick and easy 10 minute makeup. Now you're probably looking at me thinking you look really dramatic. I have got lash extensions on but I do say in the video if you don't have them then definitely put mascara on instead. I mean you don't have to but that's what I would advise anyway. So yeah if you want to know how I get this really quick and easy dewy long lasting 10 minute makeup then please keep watching. So guys, I have got my lashes done. I literally just had them done and I took my makeup off because sometimes when you get your lashes done and they put like um, stickers or something there, it takes your makeup off. So I took my makeup off. I'm gonna do it fresh because I'm meeting Danny in like what, 40 minutes. So I can do this. I mean, it takes me 10 minutes to do this makeup anyway, but longer because I've got a film. So my brows are done. I promise you this look doesn't take me long to do at all. It takes me about 10 minutes. It does depend on what brow day I'm I'm having if I'm being completely honest just depends on my brows but I filled them in um because I had makeup on earlier I carved them out and then when I took it off I just left the bits around my brows can you see so when I put foundation on it sort of blend together but the two products that I use for my brows um are both from Benefit I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 5 with the 24 hour brow setter honestly these two are incredible this brow setter is like a magical product. Honestly, it's so good. I have my, bra my brows done, my lashes done. And when she does my lashes, I'll leave where I get them done below. I literally love them so much. But when she does them, she leans on my brows sometimes and it doesn't even come off. That is incredible. So, oh, I think that hurts. It literally just stays there. So I'm literally in love. So yeah, that's why I did my brows. And then I am going to move on to the face. So you guys know, if you've watched my channel before and you're an OG, you know this also also i get so many so many comments like your foundation is so dark for your face da, da, da. but it has to match to your neck and i always forget to like tell you guys about that so you're obviously looking at my face like sometimes i'll do like a close-up and you'll look at my face and you'll be like amy what what are you doing but you have to match it to your neck also if this video is longer than 10 minutes it's because i'm explaining everything i'm not like timing it but on a day to day basis, when I do this makeup, it takes me 10 minutes. And I'm not gonna lie, the lash extensions help, but just wear mascara if you haven't got extensions, so it's not a big deal at all. I'll show you my favorite one in a minute. Okay, so moisturizer is done. This is like my key step when it comes to makeup, especially this one. It's Your foundation will stick to it. It's honestly incredible. You can mix it in with your foundation if you want a bit lighter. It's just a perfect product for me, in my opinion. So, these are the two foundations I have been loving at the moment, mainly because this one's not my shade. So I've got to mix this one in to make it my shade. It does go a little bit darker, but I use a lot of powder, which is a lot lighter, so it sort of lightens up the foundations. You'll see anyway. Um, I do need to stop being lazy and go to the shop and buy myself a lighter foundation, but you know, we're working with what we've got. So I'll pump both of them onto my hand and then I'm gonna use this foundation brush from my fave brush set. I will leave a code down below where you can get 70% off. And then I literally just stroke it on with this all around my face. And this makes it a lot easier when it comes to like application because it's sort of, it's a bit more precise on where you're applying the makeup, if that makes sense. Don't forget your neck. I always go like around my brows. Okay, so the base of that is basically done. What I'm then gonna get is this flat top stippling brush. Mix the rest of this foundation together and then I just blend it in, doing circular motions, going from my neck and then just going up. So you're gonna go around your ears. But circular motions honestly really help because it sort of just pushes the product into your skin and just gives it more of a natural look but it's just oh it's incredible i love this brush you guys know this brush is my favorite it is the kabuki brush it's my favorite from this brush set the reason i love this brush set look, i've got it all in my little 2 pound 50 primark acrylic storage love it um the reason i love this brush set is it's so easy especially in the morning to just have everything here and just pick things up and use it honestly i use it every single morning could not recommend it enough and then i just use this brush to blend it out on my neck okay so moving on to concealer these are you guys know i mix i mix everything so the concealers i've been using at the moment is the l'oreal infallible if i had to pick one it'd be this one but i just like the colors together so i use the shade 332 and then i'll just pop that on it's such a nice concealer it's so thick i love the brush it's 
a good fun uh, concealer if like you don't wear foundation and you a bit want a bit more coverage the applicator is really good so i'll use that there and then i'll just pop this one it's called the radiant reveal uh concealer from bourgeois in the shade beige and then i'll just pop that over the top just to get rid of my bags <laughs> Then I'm going to get a dark beauty blender, blend it from the outside and sort of push the product in. And you kind of have to do it while looking up at the same time. Multitask, I know, it's hard. <laughs> but yeah, just keep looking up. and blush this is my absolute og product it is from benefit this is what it is it's called the chili de bronze squad so you have the hula caramel here the normal hula you have the coralista you have a cookie highlight which is really lovely but a bit too light for my skin tone and then there's another blush called gold rush i mix them two together and then i mix the two bronzers together oh my god it's unbelievable so what i'm going to do is use the brush that comes with it you can use this one which is the angled one i love it i do use it for that but i kind of like this for blusher a little bit more so um and it's already got blusher on it so i'm just going to use the one that comes with it and i'm going to mix the hula caramel and the hula original together suck your cheeks in and i find that if you just draw a line like this each side it looks silly and then you blend it in it blends in so nicely that's what i love about this it's like powder but it like works as cream it's really like hard to explain can you see honestly incredible so i'm just gonna pop that on So moving on to eyes, I'll go back to the face after. I'm going to use the same palette and just use the Hoola colour with the medium blender. I'm sorry, someone's gardening next door. <laughs> and then I'm just going to pop this into my crease just to darken it up a little bit. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. Yeah, just to darken it up a little bit. What does Bradley want? And then just go in your crease. Like, it doesn't have to be neat at all. Like, I'm, look, <laughs> don't put yourself in your eye. Oh, what was that? So literally, just sort of blend it. It doesn't have to be neat at all. And then with that same shade, just go under your lash line. You don't, you can skip this step if you want, but personally, I like it a little bit smoky. Okay, so the highlighter I have been loving at the moment is the Ciate, I need to open it. It's the worst thing when you've got acrylics, you've got to open like a hard thing. Um, it's the Ciate collab with Jessica rabbit mm -hmm. it's called roger darling i love this shade so much it's like champagne -y, um and i'm literally just gonna pop that in my tear duct sort of blend it in a bit a little bit on my brow bow not too much sort of blend it in cupid's bow and then your nose So, and then I'll go back in a minute with that to do the rest of my face. For blusher, we are going to use this brush and then mix these two together. I will list all the products in the description box down below. This, I think, is a must-have, though, honestly. It will save you time in the morning just because it's all in one product. And also, you can use the, sh the highlighter shade. Let me, like, it looks like this it's beautiful it's just a little bit too light for my liking but some people like that i kind of like a little bit more of a pinky champagne -y color but it's completely up to you and then i'm literally just gonna pop these on love it it adds like a shine so nice so yeah that's blush done everything in there done i'm gonna put mascara on my bottom lashes if you don't have individuals, this is the time where you would put normal mascara on. Out of any mascara, honestly, this is the best one I have used literally in my life. Honestly, that sounds dramatic, but I'm being honest. It's so good. So I'm literally just going to... Oh, okay, good. I thought I literally spilled highlighter down my white top. I was thinking, no. Um, I'm literally just going to pop this on my bottom lashes. Do my lovely mascara face. I'm trying so hard not to do it right now. Okay, so I'm now going to move on to highlight. I'm going to use the fan brush. I feel like a brush like this is just so quick and easy in the mornings to just go pop, 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 
<laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I just find it so much easier and convenient and it sort of goes to the right places. Like, oh, I just love highlight. I'm literally like obsessed with highlighter. Whoopsie. Okay, now for lips. I'm gonna pop on some Vaseline. I have it in the bum. It's so good. Literally my favorite. I'm gonna wipe away some black under my eyes because I feel like in person it doesn't look as much, but in the camera, I think because I've got individuals, it looks like the most dramatic 10 minute makeup ever. But when you just have mascara on, it's a bit different. But if you guys have individuals, you'll know like it looks a lot more like dramatic. But in person it doesn't. It's just because they're quite long, I don't know. Okay, cappuccino lip liner, sorry, it's just an everyday. I, it's, it's sort of a product I know that I can go to and I, it will look great, do you know what I mean? Okay, it looks so dark, but I promise you we'll get a lot lighter. I'm gonna use the Flora lipstick in the shade one, I think it is. It's matte, but I'm gonna put lip gloss over the top. It's just to lighten it up a bit. Um, because cappuccino I love, but it's just a bit dark, but it's just a good base to have underneath, if that makes sense. So I pop this on over the top. It makes it a little bit more pinky. You can keep it like this if you like more of a matte. I'm obsessed with gloss at the moment, so I'm going to use the Zovi Zoviva? Zoviva lip gloss. I use it so much that it's actually come off. Oh, it's called Radiant Flight, honestly. It's the best lip gloss shade ever. Oh, I love it, and it's so, like, creamy. So I pop that over the top, and that, oh, it's not it. That's not it. And then setting spray, and we're done. I promise you, it doesn't take as long as, as this video, but I'm just like explaining everything, so it's a lot harder. Look how pretty this is. Ah! It's the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. This is in the shade Original, yeah. I cover my lashes, and I'll do it on my forehead, and then my cheeks. You can do it on your chest if you want. Honestly, it smells so nice. It's like perfume as well. It's so good. Right, I'm going to do my hair and then I'll be back. Okay, everyone. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, then do make sure you give it a thumbs up as it will help me so, so much. And also subscribe if you are new to my channel. I am uploading, well, I upload four times a week. So make sure you stick on board for that. I will list all the products that I've used in the description box down below with all my codes and everything like that. So make sure you look there before you look elsewhere so I've got codes. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.